hello friends welcome back to another video of jetpack compose tutorial series so in the previous videos we have seen that how we can create our first ui element uh, in our case we have created a text and uh, we also have seen that how uh, we can create a function uh, which we can reuse at multiple places and how it is uh, much efficient and how it increases the reusability of the code so uh, in the last video we were facing some issue with the font size so actually that was my bad that i was using dps at font size uh, rather than using sp um, which is recommended so now let's fix that issue first so like here uh, for font size uh, we have to define the sizes using the uh, not using the dp but using sp okay so sp is the units uh, which we need to define over here so then there wouldn't be any error and uh, if we run our application again we can see that um, the as you can see the text size is changed and uh, even to increase it a bit further so we can clearly see the changes over here we can run the application again or oh, what you can do is you can also use this quick uh, you can say restart activity or reload activity feature so it will just reload the activity if the activity isn't depending on any previous data so useful if uh, you are at fourth activity and you don't want to reopen or re-navigate to that activity every time you restarted your application so here you can see that the text size is increased now so this was all the issue uh, that we cannot use dp as um, the font size but we should use um, sp only so this is one of the text unit and it accepts the text unit as dp em uh, some kind of pointers so but not dp okay so keep in mind that uh, this is restricted kind of thing so now uh, in this video we are going to learn that how we can create something like linear layouts uh, how we can basically align widgets uh, or ui elements from uh, top to bottom or you can say vertical or left to right or right to left as horizontal so let's get started so first of all uh, we'll create a new function so let me create a new function let's name it as vertical elements okay so we have named it as vertical elements and uh, as this is a ui uh, element so we have to annotate it with composable annotation um, but let's skip that so now let's try to use uh, the actual uh, any of the ui element from uh, jetpack compose so in our case uh, to draw that kind of thing like top to bottom positioning of elements we have to use a new thing called as column okay so we'll define column over here column like this and you can see that uh, as soon as we write column so we are now getting an error that uh, this could not be rendered okay so because uh, we haven't used the composable annotation and we are actually calling a composable function this is a composable function as you can see over here so we have to annotate this function as composable like this so the error will be gone and now you can define any element inside this column uh, so all the elements defined uh, will be vertically aligned means top to bottom so let's define let's uh, call this greeting method over here like this greeting um my name baljeet and now another greeting message uh, named sam uh, one more named amit and one more named um charlie like this you can define any um number of elements over here uh, and um, you can see that they all are aligned from top to bottom so now to call this method what we need to do is we can simply um, use this method over here and remove this parameter as this is a parameterless method and uh, we now need to run our application to see the actual output so yeah 
as you can see over here all the elements are aligned from top to bottom okay so this is the way you can uh, actually achieve something like linear layouts uh, where everything can be aligned vertically or horizontally so this is the case of vertical alignment uh, what if you want to align all the elements as uh, horizontally so let's create another composable function uh, so if you want to create a ui element so always start with annotating first okay then create a function horizontal list or not list because these are not lists um, I'm not calling them list because uh, if uh, let's say we are having 100 elements over here and your screen can only hold uh, let's say 20 elements then the rest of the elements wouldn't be visible and uh, even it will not scroll um, because uh, like in the linear layout um, that layout itself doesn't scroll um, you have to actually um, you can say use a scroll view and then you have to pass the linear layout inside that so your linear layout never scrolls but actually your scroll views does the scrolling does handle the scrolling itself so this column is also a non scrollable widget or UI element so if uh, for example uh, before going over here so let me give you an example so let's give a start a for loop um, let it be from a range of i in 1 to 50 so we are going to create a UI element so this is also a benefit of using compose uh, you can use loops directly inside your UI elements and you can loop them if you want a certain kind of widget to appear again and again based on certain set of conditions uh, for the index variable you can do that so I'm using um, let's say user and dollar i so it should print uh, it will call the greeting and uh, greeting will print hello whatever the name we are passing that is user dollar i means the ith position that is 1 to 50 so it will call hi hello user 1 2 3 4 and so on so let's run the application So as you can see in the output uh, that in our screen area uh, only 21 elements are filled and rest are uh, being cutted out and they are at you can say the bottom of the screen. So you can see that I am not able to scroll the screen because this is just a layout which is actually drawing something from top to bottom. So it can never scroll itself until unless we um, we use an other layout if available um, you can say a scroller and we put this inside that scroller so that scroller should will scroll and note this layout okay this layout will be drawn from top to bottom and that uh, the parent layout of it let's say it has scroller so there isn't any layout as known as scroller I'm just giving you example so like a scroller layout uh, if there is a scroller layout uh, which can scroll anything inside it so we have to put this layout inside that layout so that we can scroll it okay so by default it will never scroll so this is not a list this is just a kind of thing for placing elements from top to bottom and similarly for placing elements from left to right uh, we can use row so row is also a function available in jetpack compose uh, which is used to align elements from left to right so we can use this same loop over here and yeah like this so we'll now be not calling these vertical elements but rather than that we are going to call this horizontal element over here so let's name it as elements oops yeah like this so run over application and this time these widgets or UI elements should be aligned from left to right yeah as you can see hello user 1 hello user 2 hello user 3 so this is a line break so it 
uh, it can only fit three elements and uh, rest as I said you as I told you that it can only uh, display the, those much items those can be fitted in the available re region and other items won't be uh, printed or drawn and you can never scroll a row or a column so this is basically used uh, just to align elements but not creating a list kind of feel okay so if you want now if you want this to be a single line text so what you can do is you can uh, actually use the properties like um, there is a this max lines property which can be one and then um, you can use the overflow property that is text overflow so text overflow dot ellipsis so that uh, it can just create a dot 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 at the end okay so now if you're wondering like um, how can I remember these properties then simply what you can do is you can simply jump to the codes so you can simply jump to the source code or you can simply press the control and you can uh, view all the attributes available over here or rather than that you can jump to the code so that you can actually understand the meaning of every element uh, so the documentation of jetpack compose is really good so you can see all the elements it accepts and the description of that particular uh, element or variable over here so these are all the variables um, that we have so you can define the color of your choice you can uh, use the letter spacing you can use text decoration you can use soft wrap you can use uh, max lines and all that stuff okay so this is the way how you can find available attributes now getting back so like we have defined the max lines over here and overflow like ellipses so it should never um, you know go to a next line or something like that so let's uh, get back to here and again we are going to use this so this time uh, first of all let's print just hello user okay so now we aren't using any horizontal element or vertical element but we are just calling this greeting so it should print hello user like this okay so now if this text is really big so um let's say something like hi i'm from india my name is baljeet and i am 24 years old okay like that so let me name it as yeah like this so this text is actually really big to fit within this particular area so it should actually uh, by default what will happen is it will go jump to the next line but uh, here as you can see that we have restricted it to use one line and the overflow is uh, ellipses so it should print dot 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 um, if the width isn't sufficient for this text to uh, fit over here so as you can see in this example that uh, it is using a single line and uh, the text is ellipses from over here okay so if I remove this property let's remove both of these properties and again run our application then it should consume as much space as it wants um, like this you can see that it is consuming three lines because it require it, it requires three lines to completely fit all the content so this is the way you can actually um you can say assign some of the attributes uh, that you previously used to assign or you can say define in your xml layouts so everything in the compose is to be defined um, in this kt file or you can say the Kotlin file itself so nothing is related to XML layouts anymore so in this video you have learned about creating or you can say uh, aligning the elements vertically and horizontally and also you have learned that how uh, you can check the available properties or attributes of any UI element and uh, how you can simply change those attributes and see them in action running over here so in the next video we will see that how we can actually um, 
remove the limitation of these column and row and uh, make the content as scrollable so uh, if our content isn't uh, completely fitting in our screen then it should actually scroll like a list so we'll see in the next video that how we can do that so we'll see you in next video stay tuned bye bye take care